Hey everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. Figured I'd stop by and show people that, like, I'm here. I'm just pushing my big shot out of the way. Um, I'm, I'm around. I've just been doing a bigger project for one of my re company reviews, so I can bring that to you guys. But I figured I'd stop by and show you some friend mail. Just one little, two little things. Then we'll talk about books. Yay! <laughs> um, so yeah, first I want to show you the um, Happy Mail. So I got um, a birthday card. I'm not going to say when my birthday was, whether my birthday is coming up. Whether I'm not a big birthday girl at all. It's it's just my personality. I'm weird. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not. I, I, I get a card. Cards is are great. I just not. Um, I don't like a bunch of hoopla. <laughs> so love love going to other people's hoopla's. I don't understand that, but me, it's a different story. This is from Thelma. Isn't that sweet? Such a good job. And then if you open it up, uh, yeah, so look at the stuff she did inside. Who does, who is this? This is JJ, my JJ's. Yeah, he's gray. Yeah. And a rare thing, somebody spelled JJ's name right, Z-E-Z-E. -Z -E. So, um, yeah, it's uh, from, it's from, it's the Korean version it's pronounced the Korea, Korean version, and it's and it's spelled the Brazilian version, and it's from um, uh, my sweet orange tree, I think it is. Yeah, my sweet orange tree. It's the it, it, it's like a little boy in that in that uh, book. This is the one my mother got me. <laughs> so a little bird. So a little bird told me it's your birthday. I ate him. You're welcome. Just my kind of card. Hilarious. Love it. She got it on Timu. I thought it was funny. It's, you know, I'm a bird person too, and I still thought it was funny. But anyways, yeah. So I like those. So what have I been doing reading-wise? I will not go through all the books that I've been reading. Um, I am really excited because last year I set a goal on Goodreads of reading 100 books. And I wasn't close to it. So I was kind of disappointed. But this year I said, okay, let's be more realistic. Let's put 50 books, right? Let's see if I can get to 50. I am in May right now and I'm at 46. I am so stoked and I and I owe it I think to my book club and starting to do um the tic-tac-toe challenge and stuff like this where it's prompting me more to read because I wanted to increase my reading and through this I have to like it's for a month you pick your board and you read what the, uh, what the prompts are. So this month, for instance, it's um, um, one of the prompts is it happened in North America. So I chose the diary of Maddie Spencer. And I think it's one that I think Patty at Life with Patty mentioned this book to me, to us, I should say, on one of her reviews. I think I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, Patty. But anyways, it's about a lady that she's writing in her diary and there and it went across uh, in the 1870s, I think it's based. Um, and they went across um, to uh, Colorado and uh, a homestead there her and her husband and now a child and uh yeah so they went across there and i um i'm still reading that one 
Um, one that I finished is uh, called One Damn Thing After Another. That is uh, sci-fi one more or fantasy sci-fi. Um, and it is about a place that they go back in time to observe real history and document it. Um, and then it, like, they, but they don't participate in anything. Like they make sure that the timeline is not compromised and it's just what it says. <laughs> everything happens, everything wrong, stuff like this. So I think it's, I thought it was funny. I finished The Good Wife, um, which was very sad, but uplifting at the same time. Um, very inspirational. And inspirational not just for someone who is dealing with um, that type of relationship, but it's inspirational in the fact that of what she was able to accomplish and that is, to me, relevant to anyone who wants to, for instance, go to school, especially late in life. I know I went late in life um, to university. I, I did go to university when I was younger. It, I, I did not. I wasn't ready. But later in life, I did go to university. And I would like the story to inspire me because... She she kind of was around the same age that I started um, and stuff like that. So I hope I'm not giving too much away there. Just one moment. Okay. I checked it. <laughs> I didn't want to give any more than what the snaps has said. So anyways, that's my, my thing to... Uh... So then I have um, spells for forgive and forgetting. And this is more of um modern day and there was a gentleman and he went back to where he grew up and found there was a little bit of mystery there and found out some things and um yeah it's it's not really i thought it was going to be more like witchcraft or or close to it but it's more it's more based around the mystery of it and which is nice because as much as I like fantasy and stuff like that, witchcraft ones, I tend to, I haven't had really one that spoke to me yet. So this one was very, it was downplayed and um, it was the mystery part where you didn't know what was going to happen. And it, I, it was a little bit predictable, a little um, but not a major amount. Um, and I did read finally my sweet orange tree. <laughs> um, I've only had Che for like, what, seven years or so. And, uh, we, I'm just getting to this book now, but very sad I thought it was going to be more like a children's book. It is not. It's not even remotely to me. I would place this at 16 and above. I <laughs> 16 and above probably because, uh, yeah, there's stuff in it. There's some tough stuff in it. There's a reason that we, we named Che after a song about this book. Um, and yeah, it's it's cute in the, the fact that the little boy, the pranks he does and stuff like this. But um, yeah, it's it's tough read as well. So um, one more. I uh, let's just do um, what you were uh, what you're looking for. You can find in the library. Um, and this one here is about a librarian that. She suggests books that people don't realize they need in their lives. So they, it's, and it's following different characters, but at the same time, they're all wrapped around each other in a little, in a small way. So, but each character is, is looked at and their life circumstances. And she suggests books and it's almost magical what she does 
but it's not like the, and this was translated from Japanese. I wish I would would be able to um read the Japanese version. Um this one here, I felt that there was something like I gave it a good review. I gave it like four stars out of five. Um it was good, but I think the Japanese version would have been better. I imagine the the stories would have come out a little bit different and um i found that there were some places in it where i wasn't really understanding what was going on and then it, it i understood but it was just wasn't the wording that we typically would use in that circumstance where so i was a little bit so I would love to have, to be able to read the Japanese one. It, I think that would be even better. Um, probably five out of five, uh, no doubt. I find, um, but it is a cute little book. It's by Michiko Ayama. Ayomo. Uh, I'm murdering it. I know. Um, anyways, and translated by by Allison Watts. And uh, yeah, it's a cute little book. It's it's cute. Um, and yeah, but otherwise, what have I been up to? I have been doing a little project, um, for, uh, Global Land, and I don't, I have something coming up for the, if you guys remember, I had a diamond painting review to do. I have something different coming up with for that, and I will explain everything at that point once I get to that video um, and then I have a few more things coming from another company that I'm going to be reviewing so I'm a little bit a little bit busy and I haven't done my I haven't done my tag for this month and I believe it's today when it gets posted um, a new prompt gets posted for my, um, it's the one where, let me see here, it's in my, it's the one that I do with a hashtag PTT club, PTT club, and I have to do my artisan journal, um, for this week. So yeah, I've got a few things to do, but I'm enjoying them. That's all that matters. And you know, like I had, um, some of the health problems last night so I was I was um yeah not very happy because I couldn't I couldn't read I couldn't even concentrate to read the uh, the pain was pretty bad so I, I couldn't even concentrate to read so it was it kind of sucked going to bed last night but um anyways yeah so Otherwise, things are going well. I'm not in too much pain this year because our spring is fantastic here. Um, it's uh, There's a little bit of um, going down in temperature, but not much. And it's relatively dry. We finally got some rain last night, so uh, we were happy about that because the, the, I think it was getting a little bit too dry here. So anyways, that's me blabbing on for 13 minutes, 14 minutes, and I will let you guys go. And thank you very much for stopping by. And thank you, Thelma, for the lovely card. And thank you to my parents for their awesome card. And um, yeah, thanks a lot, you guys. Bye.